Hello everyone, we turned the heat off because it's nice outside and my basement's cold. And despite that, we're still gonna look at our 100, 110 box. So let's get back into it. And welcome back. I couldn't hear well enough to know if I was shouting or not. Didn't want to shout through this whole video. All right. If you're new to my channel, I'm Charles. I run a Poshmark closet along with my wife Angelique. It's called The Deegans. Links are below. Now, we are going to continue going through our 110 item box. Uh, it comes from Fashion Without Trash It uh, on Instagram. And it was a 61 pound box. Um, I don't I really should ask my wife exactly how much she paid for it. I believe it was somewhere between like three and four hundred dollars, somewhere in that range. Um, but it's been a lot of items, and so far it's been pretty good. So we're gonna we're gonna keep looking through it. And I do want to mention, um, as I've been mentioning in all these videos, that she doesn't currently have any boxes. Uh, so just because it's just because it's on Instagram, we got it from Instagram and not from um, not from Poshmark. Um, I don't want anyone going on and like going after her for boxes. Um, she doesn't have any boxes now, or she won't, ha and she won't have any boxes in the foreseeable future. So up first, we have a boho dights. Uh, this is a size US six, and this is a this is a shirt, maybe a dress, um, and it does have these um, kind of little little pieces of fabric right here which kind of gives the illusion that it's kind of wrapped but in fact it's all just one one piece of fabric and don't know if I showed this or not I maybe you can see it but it is new of tags so there's been a couple pieces of boho night in this box so far and I think a couple of them have been new of tags so really really looking forward to seeing how that brand does for us okay up next we have a Maeve um, this is a US 4 and this is a little top. Um, now, I mean, these do untie, but they really don't have a whole lot of adjust. So I don't think you're going to be able to get much, much adjustment out of those. It does have a zipper in the back, um, so it would be easy enough to slip on and off. Um, and I mean, it went on pretty easy on the mannequin, um, all things considered. And a mannequin really, our mannequin is just solid plastic doesn't have any flexible joints or anything so how how hard or easy it is to get something on that is irrelevant compared to actually wearing the stuff okay moving right along we have a bar three dress um and this kind of has this um kind of has this jersey net outer layer uh it's black white stripes or is that white with black stripes? No, definitely black with white stripes. And it does have an inner um, an inner liner, uh, so it's not see-through, as you can see. You can't see me? Nope. Okay. <laughs> and it does have, um, I'm gonna use that as a thumbnail. Uh, it does have a zipper, uh, no hook at the top. Um, so it does have, and that zipper, a zipper does work. Um, I know that I've been checking the zippers on all the items uh, just because we got burned recently with a pair of shoes and so I will check those until I forget to keep checking those and then we'll get burned again and then I'll start checking them again and that's the cycle of resellers. The circle. Circle of life. I um all right. Up next we have a pair of H and M. Uh, this is a speaking of the circle of life. This is we're gonna call it a snake pattern. Um, it is new with tags, uh, so it does still have the tag. Um, but we're we're gonna call it a snake pattern. Um, a white we'll call it a white snake pattern. Um, and we'll uh. And we will not, we will not instantly break into some karaoke of White Snake um, as much as I would like to. 
nor will we break into any nor will we break into the circle of life again. Oh, but I try to get away from it and I can't because we have another animal print. Uh, this is a Zara um, size 5 or is that a small? Uh, that's an S. Yeah, that's an S. So this is a small Zara and it's some kind of animal print. I don't know if you'd call that leopard or cheetah um, but some kind of a large cat print. Um, so, not really sure what to call that. So, instead of being confused by it, I will just set it aside and keep going right along. Now here, getting away from animals, we have leaves. Yeah, leaves. Uh, this is a mink pink, uh, small, and this is this is a mink pink top. It does have the uh, it does have a kind of a string belt <laughs> right around the middle there, and it does have the two buttons on the back um, opening, and this these straps are adjustable. So really, even though that looks like it might be high, it's just because of the way I have these straps set. Okay, um, and like I said, it is leaf pattern um those look like those look like Hawaiian leaves uh, so maybe we'll say an Aloha pattern if that's the proper term is it is it Aloha or is it just Hawaiian I don't know um why don't you you person watching this video leave a comment below should it be Hawaiian or should it be Aloha I know the shirts are called Aloha shirts but I don't know about the pattern all right all right, up next we have one of my favorite pieces from the from this box so far, and not because of not because I think it'll do well, um, particularly well. Uh, it's Forever Twenty One, uh, which hasn't typically done very good for us. But setting that aside, this is it's a dress, um, but it's kind of got this like I don't know. It's kind of kind of looks like a kind of looks like maybe it's probably probably like a figure skater or something but it kind of reminds me of kind of reminds me of like an american gladiators type of uh type of pattern there with like the sharp lines and kind of the star patterns and yeah definitely something uh definitely some some kind of competitive sport where although whether that sport is shooting people with foam balls from the top of a giant tower or um gracefully gliding around the ice I do not know okay up next we have on the road and uh, this is a t-shirt um, like a white stripe pattern so it's got that mime thing going um, and it does have this little um, knot at the bottom um, not entirely I mean that's all sewn together so it doesn't come apart but it does give uh, does kind of give it a little a little bit of extra flair right at the bottom. Okay, let's keep going. We're almost done here. Okay, and we're getting to we're getting to some. Oh, these are pants. Um, now these are new tag. What is the brand? They're stealing. Steel, stealing. Uh, they are small, <coughs> small new tag black pants. Um, now they do have the stretchy waist, so there were no problem getting these on the mannequin. Um, although sometimes these looser pants don't look the best on, don't look the best on the mannequin just because, um, just because of the way they're posed, like they kind of leave some stuff, like it kind of drapes and. I don't know. Sometimes I just put those on the um, on the torso mannequin and just let everything hang because it just looks a little bit better. But those I think I did shoot on the legs mannequin. All right. Up next we have a Leon Max limited edition, another new with tags, um, and this is a pair of shorts. Now these shorts do only have 
the two pockets, um, they're buttoning. They button. They kind of button a little bit off center. Uh, they do have the um, hook in the hook for the outer button, and then they have the inner button that hooks in for extra security. Makes them makes them sit nice. And they only have the two. They only have the two pockets. No pockets on the back. Um, I'm not familiar with that brand, but limited edition, so presumably not very many of these shorts floating around. All right, up next we got another pair of shorts. Uh, these are New York Company, as you can see, new with tags. They are a size two, and they are a pair of shorts now. Looking at these shorts, you might think that these buttons do something. They do not. They are just on there for, um, for fashion purposes. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, but if you look at the side here, you see a hook and a zipper. And as I have to do, OCD, the zipper does work. I, of course, knew that the zipper worked because I had to unzip them to get them on the mannequin. But I'll do it again. All right. Up next, we have a Kamachi Blue Medium pair of shorts. Now, these are not short shorts like the last two pair. These are just regular length shorts. Um, four pockets and a drawstring. Um, so... Tighten them, loosen them, and they do have some stretch to them, so not a bad pair of pants. So let's see if I can find the materials on here. Um, I haven't looked at it. Body is 100% Linocell. So I'm not familiar with that material. Um, I mean, I see it. I see it printed on some of the tags, but I'm not really sure what it is. If it's probably some kind of synthetic thing, I don't know. All right, getting back away from the sh from the shorts, we have a J. Crew extra small shirt. Now, the buttons on this are on the left, so this is in fact a woman's button up shirt because it doesn't have the buttons holding the collar down, and it has these little um, little skiers all over it now. So, it's a fun shirt, uh, given that it does have the little skiers, probably something that would be more for winter. And, oh, I didn't mention, new tags. So, still has the tags. Um, it's very light, so it could be worn, could be worn year round. Uh, but just, just the little skiers, probably something that's gonna do better in the winter. Okay, we have two more items, and I believe, nope. This one is a Alice, Alla, Alistair Air, Alistair, um, and this is a this is a black top. Uh, now there's no zippers, no pattern, no no buttons, so really nothing to talk about. Um, I'm not familiar with the brand, so I can't even say if the brand is does well for us or not. Uh, but it looks nice, so it should do fine. Now, last but not least, we have a Top Shop uh, U.S. size two skirt. Um, now, I've mentioned this. I don't know if I mentioned this earlier in this video, or if it was the last video, but um, skirts, skirts look really, really good on the legs mannequin. Um, Legs mannequin. The, they're they're just a pair. The pair of legs I keep calling legs mannequin. Uh, so they're really e and they're really easy to get, slip on and off. So I really like shooting them because I can shoot them really fast. And this shirt or this skirt. Um, let's see if I can find the materials. I don't believe don't believe this is real leather, but I'd have to find the tag to be sure. Okay, let's see. Is it leather? Is it not? I I don't think so. Um, let's see if I can find the U.S. See if I can find the English um, materials here. Eighty-five uh, percent something. Uh, 
No, it is not leather. Um, I'm not seeing. Yeah, it's, um, I'm not seeing, I'm not seeing exactly what it is. It's probably polyester, probably polyester cotton blend, um, at least polyester on the outside and cotton, some kind of cotton blend on the inside. Oh, not real leather, but it is a nice looking skirt. Um, it does have my favorite feature of skirts, which are pockets, so, <laughs> and it has this bag zipper, um, that has this nice big ring on it. Um, I'm not entirely sure what that's for. It seems like it would make it, maybe it's, it's really easy to find so you can get, get this on and off really quickly. Um, if you happen to be leaving the house in a hurry and need a nice skirt. Yeah, I need to, I need to recenter my camera. There we go. All right. Now that brings us to the end. So, what did I think of this stuff? Um, really liking, um, really liking this box. Um, really liking these items. Um, lots of Zara. Um, like I said, Zara's been doing good for us. Um, I think I said that. I can't remember if I said that in this video or the last video or the video before that. I keep saying it. Zara's doing good for us. Um, that there's some J Crew in there. Again, J Crew does really well. I think that that Top Shop skirt is going to do good. And just a lot of really good stuff um, compared to the last um, compared to the last video. Uh, not as much winter wear, so definitely a lot more stuff that's going to do good in the spring summer um, time that we're in. So I definitely am happy about this box so far. Um, you know, if if she gets any more in the future, my I'll have my wife definitely. Uh, well, I won't have my wife. She'll just do it. Um, she'll do it. She won't tell me. And then I'll get home and there'll be a box waiting on the porch. Anyway, um, if you like this video, be sure to like, share, subscribe, and leave comments below. Um, those really do help out the channel. Until next time, I've been Charles. And I'll see you.